there, Shalini Mittal here from Tech Gatha and this video we will see how to find if a number is a Smith number or not. A Smith number is a number whose sum of digits is equal to the sum of the digits of its prime factors. Means, for example, 58. Sum of individual digits of a number 5 plus 8 is 13. The prime factors of this number are 2 and 29. We have to then find the sum of the prime factors but if a prime factor is greater than 9, we have to find the sum of its individual digits added to the previous prime factor and if this sum and this sum are equal, it is a Smith number. Let's say for example, we have number 15. 1 plus 5 is 6. Prime factor is 3 and 5. 3 plus 5 is 8. 8 and 6 are not equal. 15 is not a prime number. So let's go ahead and write the code for the scene. We have to find first the sum of individual digits. We have to find the prime factors. We have to check for every prime factor. If it is greater than 9, in that case, we have to find the sum of individual digits of that prime factor and add it to the previous prime factor. We have already seen how to find the sum of individual digits. We have seen also how to find the prime factors of a number. If you haven't watched those videos, the link for the same are provided in the description. So let's write a program for finding if a number is a Smith number or not. So we already have a small code, scanner, enter a number and I enter the number. We have to find the sum of individual digits. So I'll take one variable sum which will be for the sum of digits. We'll take one variable pf which will be sum of prime factors. Now let's store this number in another variable. So I'll say q is equals to number. To find the sum of individual digits, we have a loop and that loop goes till q not equal to 0. We have to find the sum of individual digits. So we'll say sum is equals to sum plus we need the remainder. So we get the remainder by saying q mod 10. We get the first digit and then we divide the number by 10 to get the next number. Once this is done, we get the sum of individual digits. Now we have to find the prime factors of the number and then find the sum of individual prime factors. Now to find the prime factors, I'll take a variable f, initialize it to 2. We'll say while the number is not equals to 1. That's how we find for the prime factors. We'll start dividing the number by 2. So we'll say while number mod f is equals to 0 because if a number is divisible by 2, we have to start dividing that number till the time the number is divisible by 2. If it is divisible, we got our first prime factor. So we'll say, uh, we'll have to check if the prime factor is less than or greater than 9. So we'll say if the factor that we got if it is less than or equal to 9, in that case, we just have to add it in the prime factor plus f. Else, if the prime factor is greater than 9, then remember, if it is a two-digit number or greater than a single digit, we have to add the individual digits of the number. So we'll say, suppose int t is equals to the next prime factor is greater than 9. So we'll save it in a variable and we'll again find the individual digits. So we'll say the same thing while t not equal to 0. We'll have one more variable um, s is equals to 0. And the same thing, we'll say s plus equal to t mod 10. So we'll add the remainder and t is equals to t by 10. So here this particular thing, suppose if a prime factor, if a factor 
which is prime is greater than 9 we have to find the sum of individual digits we get the sum and then we add in the previous prime factor so we will say pf is equals to pf plus s fine this is done now we have to check if the sum that is sum of individual digits if it is equal to the sum of the prime factors in that case it is a smith number else we will say not a smith number so let's compile and let's execute so enter a number so suppose i enter 15 okay it's an infinite loop what did we miss so what we missed is we have t is t by 10 sum of digits while number mod f so till the time it's divisible we have to say number is equals to number divided by f right and then here if it is divisible by 2 we have to continue dividing by 2 so if it's suppose 12 12 mod 2 is 0 it goes over here adds the prime factor 12 by 2 is 6 again 6 is divisible by 2 so it has to go on till it's divisible by 2 and then we will add f plus plus so now if we enter 15 you can see it's not a smith number and let's add a smith number we add 58 it is a smith number with this we come to an end to this video happy learning take care and bye bye